Hey guys, it's Fishel here, and welcome back to the fifth episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Wonderlock. Keep wanting to say Alpha Sapphire because you know I always say Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but I it's not Alpha Sapphire. It's only Omega Ruby, so why would I be saying Alpha Sapphire? I have no clue, but I keep wanting to say. But anyways, guys, I just want to simply say at the beginning of this episode, thank you all so so much. You guys have been loving this series. Like I've been loving to record this series like I've been having so much fun recording this series I've really been enjoying this and you guys have really really been enjoying watching this series like I kid you not I literally published a video I am currently recording this on Tuesday the 13th and I just uploaded the previous episode and within I kid you not three minutes we had already six views which is a lot in like three minutes and we had three likes like you guys are blowing blowing it up like you guys honestly you guys are showing so much support and I just want to simply say thank you all so so much for but anyways the question today as you can all see down below is which are you looking which are you gonna buy Pokemon Sun and Moon or Sun or Moon not Sun and Moon because there is no game I really want to see though if they're gonna make a Pokemon Eclipse like I feel like that's gonna be a really really like easy way for them just to get a little bit of extra money if they really want to get some but I don't really know oh you, you, you there you're that fantastic trainer from or who helped me in Paleburg Woods help me I was robbed by Team Magma I have to get the Devon parts back and if I don't I'm gonna be in some serious trouble uh, alright scrub you know you, you, you have all this technology but yet you can't even get back your own stuff you can't even do that like that's just it's a little embarrassing, man. Like, I'm telling you, it's just a tiny bit embarrassing. And we really need to level up uh, Poochiana and Ralts, because they are they are getting a little bit low on the experience. And anyways, we're going to get a Repel, which is nice. Because Repels can save a lot of time. We're actually going to dodge that trainer. I'm not going to dodge him, actually, because I, I want all the experience I can possibly get. Because, you know, it can be sometimes a little bit of a pain to level up. Luckily, though, we do have it where... We um, can level up quicker thanks to the fact that they were traded away. And in the, in the last episode, for those of you who do not know, the question of the day was, should I use the experience share or should I not? And the question that you got, or you guys, for the most part, a couple of you said I should use it, but for the most part, most of you were saying that I should not use it since they already gained like a boost amount of experience and it can make the game a lot easier. So for now, I'm not going to be using it. You're gonna send out a Ninkata. I'm gonna stay with Poochyana because Poochyana, you can do a lot of damage. You can like these Pokemon are level seven. They're level seven. You can probably ice fang this thing. And it's just gonna be one shot. No, but it's a two shot. So can't really argue with that. I really cannot. Even though now you might live this. I don't think you will, but you might. Nope, you're dead. All right, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure because you, you know you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what's going to happen. Anyways, you're gonna want to go into a Soku next. That's fine. I'm just gonna stay with Bujiana and Fire Fang you, cause Fire Fang. I'm not really sure. Fire Fang, you have 65. I think Fire Fang also has 65. Yeah, it's the exact same move. It's just one's ice and one's fire. I, for some reason, it seems like Fire Fang does more damage. I don't know why. That's just that's just the feeling I get from it. But yeah, anyways. Answering the question of the day, I'm personally going to be going for Pokemon Moon. Like, even before they start announcing, like, all the Ruck Ruffs, like, evolutions and stuff like that, and even before, like, the Legendaries, just basing off of the name, I've always liked Pokemon Moon and better. So that's going to be the Pokemon, or the, the Pokemon game that I go with, just because, you know, I like the name better. <laughs> it may sound like a really dumb, dumb uh, choice. But anyways, Willy Mercado did say something in the last episode, or... Sorry, two videos ago that I actually agree with. He did say to try and get rid of one of the fang moves and replace it with either bite or crunch. So for now, he said to, uh, to keep poison fang just in case there is a fairy type in the game, which I can completely understand. He said to either get rid of ice fang or fire fang. And he said to get rid of fire fang because I already have a fire type on the team. So that's a fair point. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of fire fang right now because... Crunch does have the stab damage behind it, so, you know, it's, it's just kind of nice. It's just kind of nice to have. I lost, I thought I had you there. I receive $112. Man, these kids are rich. Like, they are actually, I wish I had $112 just to give away when I lost things. 
Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. All right, teach me how teach me how strong this adorable Pokemon is. J just go ahead and teach me. Give me a Marrow. Hey, I have I have Marrow's baby form on my team right now. Hey, it's just it's just lying in the back. So now, sadly, sadly, Pugina does not know any uh. Ooh, poison fang. You're weak. I don't think you have any uh. You should not have any fairy type moves. But if you do, that could be a little bit of a problem. I don't think that you do though, so I'm gonna go for a Poison Fang, because I don't think that you learn any good moves. That's super effective, and you get poisoned! Dude, murderer, you are pulling through right now. You are really just pulling through. Like, I think I used Fire Fang earlier, and both times I used it, like in the first two episodes that I had it, you burned both times. Now I use Poison Fang, you use Poison, like, dude, that is great. You are so strong, Poochiana. You really, really are strong. Like, I am beginning to absolutely love you. You are not above me. Yes, I sure am. 160. I wish I had this cash on me. I really wish I had $160 just lying around. Like, okay, so each Pokemon game is about like $30 to $40, okay? I already got my route on this, or my Pokemon on this route, so I don't have to worry about it. So each game's like, I would say, Top like 40 bucks. So with $160, you can go ahead and get four Pokemon games. Like, that's a lot. That's an awful lot that you can get. Oh, you're gonna recover HP. Luckily, you did not go above. Ooh, rattled. So, bug apparently raises my speed. Ooh, wait. I wonder if it's everything that's super effective against me. Because that would be really overpowered if so. Like, really overpowered. Anyways, I'm probably going to now swap out Poochiana with Ralts, just because Ralts is a little bit lower now in the experience, and, and Electric as well. I need Electric to get some more experience, because it's only level 9. Alright, somehow I managed to go through all that, and then right when I turn, I get an encounter. Come on! Come on, Game Freak! Why do you have it when, when you, like, turn in the grass that somehow counts as an encounter? Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion. Alright, can you move? You- You were not even looking my way! You were looking the other way! Literally- Okay. In the editing, I hope I remember to do this. Rewind it, and just watch that. Alright, if I forgot to do it, go ahead and just kind of, like, like rewind it a little bit. You were not even looking my way, and yet you s No! Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. If the tunnels don't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Yep, even though I know I just kind of butchered that sentence, but whatever. Whatever, what can you do about it? You're gonna go into a Geodude. Basically, right now, everything's telling me to swap out of Ralts and go into a Zoro, which I don't think is a bad idea. Or I could go into Furfru. I'm gonna go to a Zoro, though. Zoro is literally the most powerful Pokemon. Uh, the highest level, I should not say most powerful Pokemon on the team because it definitely is not the most powerful Pokemon. That's gonna do six damage. Okay, Bubble Beam, let's go and lower his speed stats. Even though he's probably gonna get down to the sturdy. He does not have sturdy actually, he has Rockhead. Okay, I have no problem with this at all. No problem with this at all. But yeah, um, for those of you who do not know already, just kind of spoilers if you did not see it, but Rockruff actually got to evolutions in Pokemon Sun and Moon. One is exclusive to the Sun game, one's exclusive to the Moon game. Personally, I like the- oh, you've sturdy. Darn it. Personally, I like the Moon one better. It's just- I, it looks more like a werewolf, and like, Grand Zoroark is already a werewolf, I get that completely. I just- I, I like it- I like it more for some reason. It just kind of, I guess, appeals to me in a better way than the Sun one. The Sun one, it, it doesn't really- Looks kind of more like a fur fur in my opinion. It's not as but ma just powerful, I'm gonna say. It's not as powerful looking as uh, the one in the Pokemon Moon game. 320 bucks. Okay, how come the kids have 160 bucks, but then the adults have only 320? Come on, adults, just slack. Anyways, if I recall correctly, there should there is an item up here. Good, good, good. Oh, I can have the secret bases. Ooh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Anyways, it's old man Briny. Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an old, odd thug over there. 
and then the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. What are you? Oh, where are you? Not what are you? Where are you, Pico? Alright, so let's go save the Pico. Let's go save the Pico, guys. For those of you who actually watched Tyranitar Tube, you would kind of get the, uh, the second meaning behind let's go save the Pico. Anyways, though, we're going to go ahead and save Pico. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Alright. Uh, I have Ralts in the front, level 10. Uh, probably going to head and swap you. See, I don't really want to swap Ralts, but at the same time, I kind of do. I'm going to swap him. Grrr! Kill Hall it all. Kill Hall? Kill Hall. That was your word that you chose? This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway into this put into this tunnel to nowhere. And you, now you're here to battle me, really? Yep, yep, really. What, what are you expecting me to be doing right now? Oh, do you know what's really good? My Poochyana can kill this Poochyana with Play Rough, or right? Can you learn Play Rough? I think it was Play Rough that you had, but like literally, you can just destroy him. Like it's not even that big of a deal. Anyways, you're level 13. That kind of scares me. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave just solely for the fact that I don't really know how powerful you are, and I want to just lower your speed so I don't have to deal with it. You're gonna go for a Sane Attack. Ugh! I hate you right now. I really do not like you. You're gonna go for a Bite. How much is that gonna do? A lot. Like a lot, and you avoid my Discharge. That's really annoying. Like I'm gonna go in the Fur Fruit just because. You can literally tank up any defense move, so I don't really have to worry about it. But that did a lot of damage. Like, that actually did a ton. 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 You're gonna go for a bite. That did a ton to you. Sheesh. Can you just get, like, paralyzed? That would be really, really awesome if you do. Tackle does over half, though. That was a crit, though. Okay. I'm hoping right now, though, I should be able to kill with this tackle. That's all I'm hoping. Please? Yes, I do! Alright, so that Poochyan is down. You were level 13. Okay, that's a little scary. That's a little bit scary. Anyways. Uh, 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 is this the end of my evil deeds? This is $520. So the grunts are apparently richer than the adults as well. Great. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be an, a slick and easy job to pull. All I did was steal some parts from Devin. <laughs> you want him back that badly, then take him. So there we go, we received a Devon Park, which is what we came for, so we have completed our errand, and he's just gonna walk away. He's just gonna walk away, and Pico's just like, Yep, yeah, I'm here right now, look at me right now. Pico, I'm, I'm glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. You call me, uh, they call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, uh, so it's fish, is it now? Then I sincerely thank you, fish. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, don't you hesitate to tell me. If I'm to be found, I will always be at the cottage by the sea in Pelleberg. Come, Pico, high time, we're underway to home. Pico. I have no- I don't even know how to do that voice. I have no clue how to do that voice. Anyways, we do get an encounter in this area, if we can just actually run into a Pokemon, that would be amazing. When the Electric out of the first slot though solely for the fact that he kind of scares me the first slot because he is so uh, low on health right now that i don't really like it can i get into okay how I mean, how am i not getting an encounter there we go okay i was gonna say typically i get like an encounter like that but yeah i wasn't getting it. i was really really confused so there we go we're getting a wishmer kind of expected that because that's like a hundred percent chance of getting wishmer you're level 10. all right i'm gonna go for an ember if you get burned you get burned i'm not really too concerned about it you don't get burned, but now my only problem is I'm playing against RNG right now. That's all I'm doing. Ember, do not burn. Darn it! Alright, that's a dead that's a dead wishmer. That's a dead wishmer. Dead wishmer. I'm sorry guys. Sorry guys. Oh, that's annoying. It actually is really annoying. I wanted. I wanted the extra encounter. I want all the Pokemon. That's the second route now I have not gotten the Pokemon for. And that hurts. That actually hurts. I really want a Pokemon. I wanted my Pokemon encounter. Urgh. Anyways, I actually forgot that we actually have Teleport on Ralt. So I'm just going to use Teleport right now just to literally go back to Pelleberg instead of having to walk back. You might as well just Teleport there because it makes it much quicker. So 
We're just gonna teleport back real quick. I am going to try and oh no, I need to get my Pokey Nav Plus I think upgrade before I go to the second gym town island thing. I don't even know what it's called, but before we go there, we need to go to Devon Corporation and go through the whole dialogue there. So I guess that's what we're gonna be doing. I guess I'm just annoyed that we didn't get that encounter. That actually annoys me really like a lot. It annoys me a ton. Anyways, there's the there's the little professor. Oh, did it? Did it go? How'd it go? I I, I, don't, I don't really know. Did you get my Devon parts? Yeah, you did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you this great ball. You give me a, a great ball. A great ball. Not even like an ultra ball, but a great ball. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yang 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 Mei. Please come with me. Alright, I'll, I'll come with you. I guess I don't have a choice, really. But I'll go. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I'm walking to this big building with a complete stranger. Yep. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a really, really good idea. <laughs> There's a top floor of Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I, 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 I can tell you how grateful I am for what, what you've done for our company. Could you wait here for just a moment? Alright, I need to think of a good voice for um, Mr. Devon. Our, our president would like to have a word with you. Please, please, please come this way. Alright, so I'm just going to follow him over there to Mr. Devon. Please, go ahead. Alright, so, what voice should I give him? Oh, Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation, I heard just now how we have quite a bit to thank you for. So you helped out my staff, not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of a reliable trainer like you. Now, I want you to know I'm a person you can trust. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenav Plus for a moment. There we go. I just hand over my Pokenav Plus to any random stranger any day of the week, bud. You can now use Buzz... Oh, whoop de doo <laughs> The function I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called BuzzNav. It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world, even though I never have used it once. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from all around the region and from your own friends anytime and any place. Now, let me get to the important issue of what it is I need you to do, because I just kind of paid you off. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Steven. You should find him in Dewfort. So there we go, we received the letter. I just want my encounter ready. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Dufford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Briney, the old sailor who lives in that hut on Route 104, to help with the crossing. Go find him, he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure of what to do, just come and talk with me again. Okay, then. So now we can finally go ahead and go to Dufford. That was the name of the town that I forgot. We can go to Dufford and I think get two encounters. Ooh, maybe even three encounters during this episode. Ooh, I want three. Ooh, three would be nice. Three would be really nice. Like, I would actually love them. Oh, no, not May. Oh, I don't like her voice. Oh, hey, Finch, have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I've been doing pretty cool in the front, at least. I caught so many Pokemon in Battleborg once and I ran out of the Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. And I passed by Mr. Primey when I was in Pedalburg once. Oh, I guess he must have been on his way home to his cottage on Route 104. Fish, you just moved here, so that's... So there's no way you could possibly know. But Mr. Briney was once a highly respected seafarer. Oh my gosh, that voice is way too high-pitched for me. I think I used to have it, like, lower-pitched, but that was not the actual voice I wanted for her. I wanted the high-pitched voice. It's just that day my throat was not doing well. So I was able to give it to her today, which is all good. It's all fine and dandy. And, you know, I just, I wish there was a quicker way to get there. I don't want to have to walk. I don't want to walk there. Don't make me walk. Please, can I, can I, can I just have a bike or something else to make it quicker then? You're going to make me walk? I mean, at least they have the ledges here, which make it a little quicker. But I don't even want to do that. It's, it's, it's just too long. It's too long, guys. Just way too long. So, Route 104. All right. Actually, what I think that what I'm going to be doing is I think I'm only going to be getting, like, one encounter in this episode. I think that's a good idea. And it was Mr. Briney. What voice did I give you? I just forgot what voice I gave you. Hold on, Lash. Belay that, Pico. What? Oh, if it ain't a fish, you're the one who saved my Pico. I... But we owe you for that today. What's that? You want to sail with me? But that's all about... What's this all about, then? A legend bound for Duford? Certainly, there'd be no problem at all. You should come to the right man. 
I can't, I can't, I can't really read with his voice. You've come to the right man. Should it be host sale for do for at once? Yes. Do for it. We're coming. Anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Oh my gosh, that that voice actually, I feel like, suits him. On like it's it's perfect for him. I, I, that's all I can say. I think that that um, voice is perfect. I don't know why. But I really do. I like how Pico kind of just flies around with the boat. Like, I, I really find that really cool. I don't know why. It's just a little minor detail, but I find it cool, okay? I find that really, really cool. Anyways, we're going to arrive in Duford City or Duford Town. I don't even know what to call you. Oi, we've struck land in Duford, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his name or whomever. If you're ever feeling lost or adrift, though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon gym. The leader Brawl surely knows everyone everything to go on in his town. Yeah, okay, th that voice wasn't as good as what I had previously done. But anyways, do you give me a fishing rod? This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you good at getting the itch to fish? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you for giving me the old run. That makes it so much easier. Now we're gonna be getting one encounter. I think I'm going to um, just wrap up the episode here. But for those of you who do not know, you can actually head behind this little house right here and go. Ah, uh, do I want to go to route? Eh, uh, I think I'm gonna go to route seven now. I think that I just want to go for it now, just because I want all. Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna get my encounter in. Uh, do for just solely for the fact that I'm worried I'm going to forget about it later on and then I'm gonna get an extra Pokemon and I do not want that to happen and I hopefully you guys would correct me on it but I still do not want that to happen so I'm gonna fish and can I get a good encounter please there we go we have we have caught something now on the little on the little rod we've caught something a, a, a tentacool how charming how charming anyways you're gonna be level five a scratch should do more than enough if I like should we do like 70 no that did not do much at all, actually. I was expecting to do a lot more. Scratch again. You're now in the red. You are a free, free catch for me, which is fantastic. And luckily, you did not poison me. If you poison me there, I was going to be so, so mad with you. Anyways, throw the Pokeball. That's basically a guaranteed catch. If you do not get caught right now, I will be extremely, extremely mad. But voila, you are now caught. That is perfect. And I'm really, really am wondering now who I'm going to be getting. I am getting excited. I love the one training portion of this Nuzlocke. I really, really do. I don't know why, but I'm just getting excited for it. I love doing it. I really, really enjoy doing it for some reason. And let's go ahead and call it, as usual, Fish Lord, capital W, capital L, and hit enter. And then while we go ahead and connect to the internet, uh, it's gonna be transferred box one. That's fine. While we connect to the internet I'm just gonna go ahead and basically tweet out to let people know that I am one trading at this moment So let's just go ahead and bring that up because we have nothing really else to do at the moment So I'm just gonna bring up Twitter and I cannot spell I said it twit a twitty All right, anyways tweet wonder trading Now go Go, 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 go. All right, so once this connects to the internet, I will send that tweet and we will just literally, I am going to send that tweet right now and I'm just gonna click the one trade thing and let's get going. Okay, please, please give me something good. That's all I'm asking, give me something really good. Like don't give me a Wurmple, don't give me a Zigzagoon. Give me something good, please. That's all I'm asking for right now. So, I'm predicting, I'm really hoping it's going to be a grass type. I really, really want a grass type, like, in reserve, not maybe on the team right now, but just on the reserve, on, like, the bench, basically, just waiting for someone to die. As, as bad as that may sound, that's what I'm waiting for. Ooh, Japan. Japan typically gives really good Pokemon. <laughs> so, I'm actually kind of excited for what, what you're going to give me. Please give me something good. That's all I'm asking. I don't even care if I can't read the name of it. Just give me something good. Please. All right, we're going to trade for a Durant. A Durant. We just got a Durant. Guys. Guys. That is power. Fermite. Fermite. That's great. That is great. I actually like that name. Fermite. Oh, that is power. That is actually power on the team. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave off the episode here. In the next episode, 
we should be able to get two encounters and we might be taking on the second gym badge. So the next episode is going to be a great episode. But of course, if you guys are enjoying this series, which I know you guys are, be sure to burn that like button with a good old skull or hit the subscribe if you know my channel and you want to see more. But anyways guys, I will see you all next time. Have a great day and goodbye.